All right, first step in removing the cover of our Detective Comics number 59 so that we can get rid of this color touch and get the tape off here is to remove the staples so we can remove the cover from the body of the book. Um, of note, the interior leaves are actually really nice. I'm a little stain here, but paper quality is great and they're clean, um, vibrant. So I will do little to nothing to the interior pages here. We do have a little bit of tape on the centerfold pages and we'll have to take care of that. Um, I noted in my initial assessment that I don't believe these staples are original to the book. So we are going to we're going to remove them even if they were, but we're going to remove these staples. Now, I'm using my capable staple tool from uh, Maculate Comics and inventor Rick Morgan, whose channel you should check out if you don't already. Um, you've seen me do this before, but on my channel, but we're stabilizing that staple so that we're not going to put pressure on the paper and potentially stress or tear the paper while we're doing this. I'm using the flawless staple tool also from Immaculate Comics and Rick. It's a great tool. Teflon coated little spatula. There are others. There are other things you can use, but that works really well. Speaking of, here's a tool that I made. Once I have one arm up, I like to use this big flat piece of plastic with a hole drilled in it. I'll stabilize the staple off that um, arm. And we can remove the other staple, or the other arm rather, and get it pointing up at the sky. All right. We've got those two staples up. We're going to repeat the process here, and then we will separate this book into the inner leaves and the cover. Again, this is, these are very obviously um, recently manufactured staples. I'm not even 100% sure it's the correct material. Oh, and it's, the arms aren't cut equally. It wasn't done really super well, so um, I will likely be replacing these with ones of my own manufacture or possibly some vintage ones. All right. So since they're right on top of the cover, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop them out from here. There's one. If I thought they were original, I would keep track of them and keep track of which way they faced, but I'm so confident that they're not original staples that I'm not even gonna bother. Look at that. I guess that'd be something if I was wrong, huh? Maybe I should keep them like that just in case. I think I'll do that. I'll keep them like that just in case. Let's do a quick check on these staples. Let's see what this material is. 20 thousandths. Oh, it is the correct thickness it's got a bit of a patina to it I guess that's a decision we'll have to make among men one of many that we'll have to make as we're as we're processing this uh, comic for conservation all right we should be able to just slide the innards now out of this book hopefully it's not taped in it's not good Again, the insides of this book are wonderful. And look at this. There's an ad for Green Lantern number one. 
Wouldn't you like to be able to just plop a dime down for that? All right. I am going to move this on to aqueous cleaning, and I'll give you an update on that when I get a chance. What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup on the cover of our Tech 59 we recently purchased second appearance of the penguin from january 42. now that we've got the cover off we can see that the color touch is fairly extensive a um, little bit more than what could be seen when the book was assembled we have some tape we need to get off and this tape is maybe already starting to kind of come up but <clears throat> we're going to use a um, we're going to use a solvent that's going to remove the adhesive from the tape because we really need to get this tape off here and here and that solvent may also help with some of this ink we'll see we're going to start with the most a uh, non-polar solvent we have, and then we'll move toward more and more polar solvents as we need to. And the reason why is we want to be able to dissolve the uh, adhesive used on the tape here um, without disrupting the inks, and that's our best bet. So I have here a tray that is for photo developing. The nice features about this tray are it's, a, it's approximately the correct size. It's very shallow, so we don't have to work like this. We can work comfortably. It also has this nice feature of it has this pour feature, so we can pour solvents off or water off whatever we're using when we're done. <clears throat> I have a sheet of non-woven polyester here. This is sold under the brand names Rume or Holitex. And what I'm going to be doing is using it to support our page. And in case I need to manipulate it, I'll have this page or this uh, layer over top. So we'll wet that with the solvent. And um, we will start working on removing this tape. And as we do that, we'll see what happens with the um, color touch that's been done to the book. Possibly it will be, we're going to start with um, hexane, and that's the most nonpolar solvent we have, and we'll see what it does to the ink potentially. Maybe we will get some of that color touch removed while we're removing the tape. All right, as you can see, we have wet the entire book with hexane uh, not the entire book the cover as you can see once we've done that the tape is literally ready to just be separated with almost no force at all I have here a spatula which is Teflon coated the reason I'm using a Teflon coated spatula is because I want to be able to not have a lot of the adhesive from the tape um, underneath my uh, stick to my stainless steel spatula, which it would do if I was using stainless steel. So uh, you saw how easily that um, came off, but I do need to get my face over this to see what I'm doing. So I will do the rest of the tape removal off camera and we'll come back and check out results. All right, time for just a little bit of results. We successfully removed all of the tape. We got the tape off with very little loss to the paper. Um, the pieces that you see here that have color on them I think this is actually all color touch, so we don't really have any loss of paper. The one piece of paper that we lost here, which goes there, it was completely loose anyway. 
it, the tape was just holding it in place. So we'll make a decision about mending that later. But <clears throat> the important thing is we got the tape off. Um, there is still residue here um, from the tape. So we removed the plastic part of the tape, but the adhesive is still there. So we're going to have to deal with that. But I'm pretty happy with this. I want to get this out of the solvent now. We are getting a tiny bit of color bleed from this yellow. And um, so I want to get it out of the solvent as quickly as I can. So I'll do that off camera and we'll do another check-in for next steps. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Dr. Paul. Working on the next steps for my Detective Comics number 59 cover that we are doing a conservation on. So I dry cleaned the cover. We have color touch and tape. I removed the staples, took the cover off the book. <clears throat> we did a complete immersion in uh, hexane, and that was great for removing the carrier of the tape, but it left behind the adhesive. As I mentioned before, hexane is a almost completely nonpolar um, solvent. And so it actually just kind of swells the adhesive, but it does um, make it so that the carrier can be, or the, the plastic part can be ripped right off. In fact, doesn't even need to be ripped off, can just be lifted off, it almost floats away. So now what we need to do is come back and remove this adhesive. So uh, I'm using a slightly more polar solvent now, a quote unquote stronger solvent, if you will. This is xylene. So this is kind of related to toluene closely in terms of its properties. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna brush it on. Then I have this tool, just a little scraper and I'm just gonna roll, not roll, but scrape across the surface. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna roll up the adhesive in a little ball for me. And if you use the incident light, you can see where the edge of this adhesive is. because it's kind of shiny and it stands up a little taller than the rest of the paper. So there we removed another little adhesive um, wad and we're gonna keep doing that until we get all this adhesive off. And I'm just gonna take my time the adhesive is actually absorbing the xylene over here, which is fine. And you want to be very gentle with this paper. Well, speaking of, I'm on top of a piece of silicone release paper. Just because I don't want anything to stick to anything at this point. Then we don't want to be trying to remove any of this dry. So as soon as it dries up and I can see where there's some adhesive, I'm coming back in and re-wetting it. Just work in small areas at a time. So that's the process. And like some of the other steps that I mentioned, it's quite tedious. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll do it off camera and give you a update on the results when I'm done.